Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to do something fairly simple within ShareWell that you may or may not be aware of how to accomplish. And what we're going to be looking at is the contextual menu options that you have. So what I mean by that is we're in here and we have a list of incidents and I can right click in this grid and I have actions that I can perform. Now we can set these up in various business objects throughout the system. But today what I'm going to show you is how to do this. And for an example, I mean, these are out of the box, but for an example, I did a show description one step. And all it's going to do is show me the description on the incident, which we can see here in the grid. For example, the one I have highlighted is Outlook won't connect to the Exchange server. Well, I've got it set up where you can right click on that hit the context menu and you will see the description in a pop-up. Uh, obviously that's a pretty basic thing but the intent of the video is to show you how to do it not to dig into all the different things that you can do with it such as um, changing the escalation to the next escalation team, uh, taking ownership could be an option that you could put here, uh, converting it from an incident to a service request, any number of things can be done. Now, to go, out, go about adding something to the context menu, within our admin client, we need to create a new blueprint. And we'll come down to incident, because that's the object that I was on. And here, over here, in our edit actions, in the edit actions, you have the context menu section. And as you can see, my show description is here, as are the others that were there out of the box. So to do this, you would simply add an action. You can add a one step, a command, a dashboard if you wanted to be able to open up the portal or a specific dashboard, etc. So in this case, I simply added a one step action. The one step is show description, which is nothing more than a prompt that prompts for incident dot description field. And whenever you save this, you can set some expressions for when it's or when it's visible, when it's enabled. Um, you can put an icon on it, uh, etc. Uh, and that's all there is to it. And you'll notice uh, customer, customer internal, they have context menus there. Uh, so you can do all kinds of things with the context menus. You can do a go-to record. So let's say that you're sitting on a incident and that incident has uh, some tasks in it. And normally you've got to come down here and you've got to, um, you know, hit the little blue swirly arrow to go to the incident or the task record. You could actually set a context menu to take you to the task. Um, any number of things that can be done with these context menu items. Um, anyhow, it's a very quick video today. I just wanted to show you some, uh, basically where that was um, done from. Uh, most objects have the actions where you can do these active, uh, can set a context menu. Uh, you'll notice also, uh, just in case you didn't know, Within the edit actions, you can also set up some print options. You've got your automatic actions so that whenever a record is created, you can do certain things with it. Uh, when the record is saved, you can have other things happen. Um, and when the state changes, you can take actions. So uh, the task pane, that's accessed through here, as is the menu. So feel free to jump in here on a dev system and play around with these options. You can use a very simple uh, one step just to get familiar with everything that you can do from within here. Anyhow, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We produce these videos every week. If you have questions for us, whether it's related to a particular video or not, 
you can post those in our channel and someone will, e will either re email you a response or we'll create a video giving you the answer and showing you how to accomplish what you want.